Good morning guys, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis, guys. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Uh, the market yesterday was just selling off and it like uh, and we reached the, the, the support area, which is good, but I think maybe we broke that, but uh, we will see what we can do from there. We can see how we can throw our 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 support line so i will just start with uh, nasdaq today so please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends guys you can like the video if you like the content that i'm uh, i'll be sharing with you here so uh let's see if you want the system guys the system that uh can help you to to make some very very uh, great uh, to get some very nice signals let me know if it is still a uh, $20 a VIP signals also is $20 and also mentorship is also $20 all right <clears throat> okay so here is Nasdaq 100 uh, I saw the other guys uh, here on YouTube they said I must start with the uh, Nasdaq so I start to understand that yeah it's good because it's something that uh, I even like to do actually I don't really like to to trade so many things and I like to trade Nasdaq so our support area yesterday it was around this area I want to show you uh, so just because by the way we drawn our support area I thought maybe the market did break that support area you see and that made me not to place enough orders and you know what i can't blame myself because according to previous uh, trends you can see this this is a daily uh, time frame guys you can see that the market was actually respecting these areas going further but here the market gave us a breakout so which means that made us not to just jump in the market but likely enough i gave my student uh, i gave my student some signal by pending order to buy i hope they made some very nice profit so you can see here how we draw previously this is how we drawn our resistant line i don't think we're supposed to change that why because we can just call this a fake breakout we don't have to change our previous uh, support area but if things continue like this it means we can just adjust that so the overview for today what do we see for today later on uh, we have like uh, Jer Jerome Powell uh, I hope I'm spelling that uh, uh, correctly uh, the Fed interest so this, they're going to have those statements about the interest rates uh, in the US so that that we will see the market going up or down we might see the market going up or down but at the moment i can see that the market really respected this area very nicely what happens with nasdaq is sometimes when it comes like this you can see the market came respect this area most likely the market will come back again do the same thing before we see a shoot up where do i see that you see this area here even this one here this area here even this one here this areas here you can see the market comes to come back around those areas and just respect those areas before it can even push higher you see that so mostly the market will just drop down come back again again and before it can push up so we might see the same thing happening here and the market might push up from there yes maybe the market might keep pushing higher from this area yes that is also possible that is also possible so the best thing again is why when we see we already see that oh the market actually respected the trend it means now we understand what we are supposed to do we are supposed to do what we will look for buy positions look for buy positions around those areas but don't just jump in the market look for buy positions and this zone actually i can say this is a very nice buy zone actually i think even if maybe the market will go up and down but the market will very soon push up again so 
let's push to a bit smaller time frame let's use for our time frame and see that and see what's really happening so we can see that oh the market really gave us some tough time yesterday so because we also had something like uh, support around this area the market did not even like to do that did not really respect that area the market pushed lower so we had that breakout and then the market came back again so it was not a very nice position to enter around this area because after this breakout you won't understand if the market is going to come back very quick or something like that but when it pushes up like that it was even dropping a little bit so you were going to get into you were going to panic actually you were going to panic if maybe you did not understand what you were doing so if we zoom closely we can only buy if our downtrend or our resistant line is broken why because the market is respecting that you can see that the market has been moving in this shape where the market is just pushing lower so we need to draw that so that we can be safe next time when we do, uh, when the market is we can say we can only buy when the market is breaking out of this bearish momentum so to, for us to make sure this is correct or perfect uh, we need to use a bit smaller time frame let me just use one hour time frame and try to see, you see i like that already i like this so we have this thing now here we have something like this why i see something like that because the market if you check the market is been respecting this area this area you can see that area was not even broken this area so for us to say we want to buy let's break this area before we can say we're going to buy why because the market since then since maybe day ago the market never broke this area maybe since monday you see or again i also see something like this something like this here yeah, i hope you can see this also around this area we had a support area do you see that that support then after that support it was a resistant even now the market is around there so it means we can just throw a proper line there and say if the market is going to break this area it's where we can see now it's time to buy but that really makes sense because you can see that the market is also on on a, on on our trend you see that on our resistance so it means if the market is going to get out of out of, out of that yes you can take those buys but at the moment respect that actually you can just wait for one candlestick to close above here then when the second one opens you can take the trade because at the moment the market might still respect this area and push lower so this area we can draw like that we can't say it's a resistant but there's possibility that the market can still reach there remember later on uh, we have uh, like fed interest rates uh, i hope the news they're going to be like bullish and maybe we will see the market pushing up you see maybe we will see the market pushing up i can see that the market is trying to push lower from this area do you see that so it means even if the market bought from this area you don't just have to jump around this area and say you know what the market has been bullish i need to buy no you don't wait for the market to reach this area before you can say you buy please don't forget to smash that subscribe button so at the moment we can see we are still under this bearish momentum so what can you do it's wait if you don't sell the next day wait for the market uh, to push a little bit lower guys it's still still very very early if you start your things correctly it's january it's the second week if you start your things correctly and you wait for the market to reach to confirm this year is going to be the, the easiest year you ever had in your life if you just try to follow your rules don't risk much the the, the enemy is on the on the lot size guys if people they like placing with the bigger lot size if not it's bigger if not bigger mostly they place like multiple trades so that is the enemy of your account just make those small uh, dollars uh, very small uh, then your account will grow very nicely you see so now we are on us 30 guys now we are on us 30 let's go in a four hour time frame so that we can see 
a bigger picture we need to see a bigger picture so what do we see here uh, let me remove that why because i saw that yesterday and even now it's still happening so now now what do we see here do you still remember when i talk about uh, this support area do you still remember look what happened yesterday the market even came close even if the market did not touch that the thing is, sometimes the market won't just touch our trans lines every day, you see. So, but what happened here is this, it shows that, okay, this support area that I've drawn here, it's actually valid because the market came very, very close uh, to this area. Then after what? Then the market is trying to push up, you see. So, another thing is we had this area. Do you still remember this area? This area as our our resistant so let's try to draw that and see if maybe the market is trying to show us something uh, remember i'm on a four hour time frame so it means even if i try to draw that now it's no longer really they don't really that doesn't really matter anymore why because the market already broke that so the market already pushed up came back then we see the market pushing lower again even if we see something like the market is trying to respect that but don't confuse yourself because the market will always create this type of moves so the best thing that you can do is make sure you stick to the bigger picture the bigger picture here is the market is on a bullish momentum and now i like the fact that now the market uh, is now respecting this is coming back here again so what we can do is we we are still on a bullish momentum even though the market did sell off but we need to break this you can see the market was creating this uh, resistant line there so it means for us to buy let's break that area first because the market might respect that and we might see something like this then that is actually creating a wedge uh, I, don't, I hope you know that i hope you know what it's a wedge um you can see from this area there is a very nice resistant over there and this thing is on a four hour time frame do you see that so it means the market is actually respecting this area so for us to say now it's time for us to buy what do we do let's break this area first then we can say we buy it or maybe the market has to reach this area and we will say now maybe it's time to buy i hope you understand that don't just confuse yourself in this thing because if you confuse yourself that's how that's where the market wants you then you will pay the price so let's see this on you can see this resistance is really valid guys so and you can see even the market is even now the market is, is respecting that area so we are very ready we are very ready if we see this breakout we're going to take it remember i only buy these indices but this year i'm focusing only on nasdaq why because uh, i made a lot guys from only nasdaq and only buying so it means so i just want to make sure that i multiply that uh, with the skill that i have at the moment you see so let's move to to german 30 or german 40 uh, as as the name changes so let's start from a four hour time frame on a four hour time frame this one is also like quite straightforward uh, the moves they are quite similar to what we see mostly on us 30 so let me clear this let me clear this so what we see is we see that we have an area uh, where the market can it's respecting do you see this area the market is respecting that zone actually if we draw we're going to find something around that zone you see but what is really happening here what is happening is the market is actually pushing to the upside this is a sell-off that we see at the moment we might see another push pushing uh, going from this area and pushing uh, 
to the upside so but we need to have those lines ready so that the, we can find uh, we can be sure uh, with our story firstly let's draw line from here you can see i'm not forcing this line everything is just perfect uh, everything is just perfect you can do it like this you can see that so what we have here is we still have a downtrend here and that downtrend i think is going to be way too visible uh on a bit smaller time frame so that i don't know if it's broken or something if it's broken we can take that trade if it's broken we're going to take that trade or we can just wait for a retest you see so let's go to a two hour time frame so on this you can see that we had this thing here but we have another move here so which means it will force us to do something like this because we can't just crash everything and come around this area do you see that so we are forced to say now our trend is going to be like this so once we break out of that it's where we can say you know what it's our time to do what to buy again or if the market is going to break out of this support area do you see the, our support area this is the support area yes here it, uh, it was a resistant but it came back the market came back around this area you can see this then there is like sort of a support then here then the market tries to break that but you can see the market respected that again so it means now we have two option if the market is going to break a uh, resistant this resistant if the market is going to break that we go into do it if it's going to break this resistant we can wait for a retest or for the market to close above that they can stick to close above that then we can take our trade or we maybe we can wait uh, for the market to break this support area we can say now is our time to do it to sell some they can if maybe some they even thrown something like this here they just waiting to sell because we trade differently don't just try to trade like everyone else out there guys because that is not you find something that suits your style of trading if you want to trade like me yes you can be 100 percent like me you should also add your thing blend those things together they, they will make sense so what i see again is we can see that the market is creating this nice move look what i'm seeing here so there's possibility that if this is not broken the market might keep pushing lower i hope you see that so if maybe you see that or if you sell i think for those who sell they are quite on a very nice spot where they can do their thing you see so let's push let's push let's work guys let's work it's not easy so everything is trying to recover but i think this is sort of a fake recovery because the soul of us just very strong so uh france 14 no we're skipping you man uh, we're not adding you here so now we are on gold on gold let's go straight to four hour time frame on a four hour time frame i just want to see the bigger picture so you can see that i already drawn my support area here if you checked that yesterday but the market was already away from my I think the market was already around this area i wasn't going to jump on that so but if you checked if you checked i saw another uh, subscriber from youtube sent me some very nice screenshot and he said he made some very nice profits from gold so the time i see the market yesterday i think the market was around this area then i wasn't going to jump on the market when it's like that so Actually, guys, I apply very, very strictly on the risk management. You'll never go broke in this market. You can still make some very small profits, but what I love is you're not going to blow your account. You see, it's easy to blow the account in the market, guys. There is a reason why they say 70% or 85% of investors or retail traders, they always lose their money within three months and stuff like that. So if you see yourself still here in a doing your thing yeah just just make sure that you keep that like that because uh, some people are losing even us we do lose but we just make sure that we don't lose much 
right so at the moment we are here uh, you can see what's really happening we we already moved the market already moved from away from our support area so it means you don't have to jump in the market at the moment you don't have to jump at the moment uh, on the market at the moment what you can do is wait for the market to do its thing wait for the market maybe to give you a lower a higher low something like this then you can say now it's time to push up but i see that here around this area we have a resistance there's possibility that when the market reaches those areas you see that i hope you see that let me draw that perfectly when the market reaches those areas the market might respect that and you need to be out of the market or you need to be taking a different direction the market might reach this area and push lower like that i hope you see that so even this area it was sort of a support area but i was on a trend area here if you throw that going back it seems like that was making a sense i hope you see that i did not see that unfortunately yesterday but what i see is the market is still pushing to the upside let me throw that you can see do you see that so there are so many moves on one thing here you can see this was a resistance support 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 and support and fortunately the support was very close to our strongest support here that's why we see the market doing what going to the upside i hope you see that guys we're supposed to eat guys we're supposed to eat and um, not the market supposed to eat us but we're supposed to eat you see what's really happening here you see what's really happening here so uh, the market i think yesterday it was it was when i no longer remember but something here i think it was not there this move wasn't there i think i think the market was still around i don't know if it was here or i no longer remember but before when i drew this thing i i know that we oh the market was around this area let me show you that go back and check my previous video you will see what i'm talking about now we are on us oil guys so you will see that i said something like this i said the market here the structure uh, is the market is not actually going to come back easily on this support area why because the market can move like this if you still remember i said something like this yesterday if you listened so i see that structure also happening again here so let me clear uh, this uh, this bars here so that you can see nicely what i was seeing uh, so i said you see the market is moving like this why because sometimes the market won't just come back around the support area right so if it's like that and when we see that the market is very very strong and a bullish momentum the market mostly will create this type of moves where the market will create a resistant then after it will come back around that resistant and push up around that resistant around that resistant is going to come back again create something like this push up come around that resistant and create something like that pushing higher and higher so if i can try to draw that nicely with the perfect lines i can say you see this area do you see that uh, do you see this area i hope you can see that do you see this area and this area and this one is the new one here so i'm i'm going to explain this to you so that you next time you don't miss moves like this so what is happening here is the market is actually moving up creating a resistance coming back actually a higher high pushing up again then the market will come back you will see the market coming back around that area if you draw that line to your back to your left you will see that the market is actually respecting uh, this this higher higher here the higher low is going to come back you see here is going to come back and respect 
our previous high here. Then the, once the market is pushing up again, you see we broke this area and we have this area at the moment. Then the market is going to come back, respect our previous high. Then the same thing is happening here. This move is respecting our previous high. So we might see something like this happening longer. But it's funny because most people, some, they don't really know about that. So it's easy for them to not see this type of moves. Unfortunately, I don't trade US oil, but I see that I was going to be eating. Uh, around this area and it's not easy to give people signals because this moves they happen very short but when you check the market is actually pushing to the right side maybe we can still try to draw our support area here but still you're not going to take full advantage of the moves you're not going to take those full advantage because you even if you try to draw the market you can see here the market did not touch that here at least the market touched here did not touch here we don't have that touch also and the market might still push up so it's not really going to be perfect even if you try to draw this trend line i hope you understand that guys i hope you understand that i think we're done for today please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo extra hot forex yeah i can see even on on s p 500 we also had similar move here it means we were going to think maybe the market is breaking that but the best thing is to wait if you trade s p 500 i don't really trade that so this is kenzo guys extra hot forex bow i hope you enjoy your day and the whole week